fully confident that this year's MPE IIA, albeit on a new normal platform and approach, has achieved its desired impacts. Enhancing not only in the design, but also the delivery of public goods and services for the people. Innovation in government is imperative, not only to transform, but also to stay ahead of change. To leave student engagement and attainment in innovation and to support teachers and improve student outcome, innovation and techno brand of mind. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. A very good afternoon and welcome everyone to the awards briefing for the Malaysia Technology Expo International Innovation Awards 2022. Ladies and gentlemen, the Malaysia Technology Expo 2022 and all our Innovation Awards program, including our IIA 2022, is set to return on the 21st to the 25th March uh, this year. After careful considerations, ProTem has decided to continue to hold MTE 2022 as a virtual event. The safety and health of all our participants is of paramount importance. As the pandemic situation is still not predictable, we are not ready to have a physical event for 2022. On behalf of the organizers and the award chair, we would like to thank you all attendees for your time joining our briefing. Today, we'll be sharing information on the judging criteria, the rubric, and also some info on what the jurors are looking for during the awards evaluation. After that, our MTE team, led by Henley, will also be sharing the online award submission and the virtual platform overview briefly. Ladies and gentlemen, the International Innovation Awards at MTE are preceded and independ by Independent Award Committee and is chaired by University Technical Malaysia Melaka UTEM, represented by Professor IR Dr. Ghazali bin Omar, the Acting Vice Chancellor. The Deputy Chair Industry is Sirin Tech Ventures in Denverhad, led by Tuan Ajma'in bin Kasim, the CEO of Sirin Tech Ventures in Denverhad. We are very fortunate to have opportunities to work with U10 and STV since MTE 2020 until now. Our program today will be moderated by um, MTE IIA 2022 Events and Publicity Director, Wan Fazidah Binti Itnin from UTEM, and full awards briefing will be delivered by MTE Awards Director, um, MTE IIA 2022 Awards Director, Prof. Madia Dr. Muhammad Zainul Abidin bin Abdul Aziz, and maybe will be assisted by Prof. Madia Dr. Muhammad Herman. Um, ladies and gentlemen, Without further ado, I will pass the floor to Puan Fazidah to start. Thank you. 
Thank you, Nuran. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all attendees online. Professor I.R. Dr. Ghazali Umar, Acting Vice Chancellor of UTEM, Chair of the MTIIA 2022, Mr. Ajmain Kasim, Deputy Chair of the MTIIA 22 for Industry from Sirim Tech Ventures in Dren Berhad, Mr. Ronald Chiu, Managing Director of Protem Exhibitions, ladies and gentlemen. It's 3 p.m. here in Malaysia and Southeast Asia, and early morning, I believe, in Europe, Middle East, and Africa, where some of our participants are from. Now, on behalf of the MTE 2022 Virtual Edition International Innovation Awards, IIE, I bid a warm welcome to all of you, albeit virtually, across borders and continents, to the MTE IIA 2022 Participants Briefing. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I cordially invite the award chair of the MTE 2022 Virtual Edition IIA Committee 2022, Yang Berbahagia, Professor IR Dr. Ghazali Omar, to give his welcome remarks. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and salam sejahtera. Participants, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to welcome all participants from diverse industries and institutions to the Malaysia Technology Expo, MTE 2022 Visual Edition. International Innovation Awards. We are deeply honoured and delighted to welcome all participants today for the briefing. As we all know, this is the second MTE virtual event which has continued to take the mode of new normal in light of ongoing COVID-19 pandemic scenario. University Technical Malaysia Melaka is privileged to be given the continued opportunity to lead the IIA Award Committee. And as the Acting Vice-Chancellor, I'm honoured to be appointed the Chair of this committee and hence would like to ensure our absolute commitment, capacities and professionalism to this event. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of UTEM and the organising committee, I would like to thank all the participants for your fervent support to the MTE 2022 virtual edition. I strongly believe that this five-year event, starting from 21st March to 25th March 2022, will provide considerable opportunities for the participants from various backgrounds to not only display their innovations and invention, but also to seize the opportunity to interact, discuss and exchange ideas to the latest innovation and technologies that will uh, undoubtedly benefit all. Albert is virtual mode. I believe that MTE 2022 will continue to provide ample opportunities to researchers from all over the world to participate at the convenience of their respective location worldwide. At the time of this recording, I've been informed that we have more than 250 entries already. Every year, MTE IIA receives more than 400 entries. Many will be submitting near to the closing date. We are expecting more than 400 entries this year. And this is the privilege of technology. We are able to connect beyond our physical and geographical boundaries. Ladies and gentlemen, resolutely, I hope that this MTE 2022 Virtual Edition will be the catalyst in encouraging innovators and inventors to share and saturate innovativeness and sustainability of their research initiative. Through this platform, I foresee more new ideas and innovation within the realms of sustainable development will emerge. I also encourage all participants to engage in compelling and constructive dialogues. And I would like to re reiterate this to ensure that our prototypes will see the light of the day in commercialization as well as impacting towards the betterment of the industries and society at large. We are need to act now, we need to act strong, and we need to act together. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, thank you for each and every one of you participate in this year MTE 2022 Virtual Edition. Your profound contribution through this event is greatly honoured and appreciated. With the enthusiasm and support from all of you and the organizing committee, I'm fully confident that this year MTE IIA Awards will attain yet another milestone. May this an insightful and highly immersive experience for all. Thank you and good luck to all. Stay safe, 
and take care. Thank you, Prof. Gazelle. Now, ladies and gentlemen, to continue, I now invite the MTE 2022 IIA Awards Director, Associate Professor Dr. Muhammad Zoyinul Abidin bin Abdul Aziz to give his award criteria briefing. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Selamat sejahtera and uh, good afternoon to all participants today. So, uh, for today, I would like to introduce uh, our judging criteria, which is I will cover two uh, types of uh, categories, which is uh, tangible and intangibles. So, let me start with the tangible uh, properties. So, this year, the categories uh, for the judging criteria uh, for the tangible properties will be given by uh, five uh, elements, which is uh, the first one is originality of the invention and innovations, which ca will carry 10 marks. And then applicability of the invention and innovation, 20 marks. Status of innovation is 20 marks. Commercialization uh, potential will be 30 marks. And the presentation, uh, 20 marks. Uh, total will be 100 uh, marks. So let's go through uh, one by one. So the first one is the originality of the invention and innovations. The next slide, please. OK. So for this originality uh, of the invention innovations, we are, will evaluate in terms of the first element will be on the intellectual properties, IP, which is an example of a copyright. If you have a copyright, a trademark, the patents, and etc., which uh, represents the, uh, the, the protections of the IPs. And the second one we will evaluate in terms of the publications, the publications such as the journals, uh, brochures, bulletins, social media, TV, and etc. So basically, how your uh, all the particip uh, the judges will look on these two elements will be the first thing will be uh, the any supporting document or uh, evidence to to say that you have the copyright, you have a trademark or patent, and if you have a journal, please uh, show, please uh, 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 submit the journals or even you have the. Uh, bulletins so submit that bulletin so on so uh, for example like you have a tv broadcast uh, i mean uh, the advertisement so you can share that uh, the uh, the clips of the video so so that uh, the panel will see that as uh, uh, the original idea for for the innovations that invention that you you presented this this will carry a 10 marks the second one the applicability of the uh, invention and innovations. So this one, we will see the what is, what type of the problem that your invention or your innovation solves. So in this unit, uh, we hope that uh, all participants able to explain in detail what basically the problem that uh, your invention will solve. The second one will be the due diligence about the in in the invention and innovation. Please uh, highlight in details at what stage and at what uh, uh, evidence that you can say that you are currently in that stage for that uh, product currently. And then uh, the third one also we want to see, the panel would like to see also the, uh, uh, the inno novel the second one, please. The novelty of the invention and innovation. So for this element, we would like to recommend uh, all the participants to provide uh, a detailed explanations in your recorded video with the proper and related information. So if you have a graph, tables, all the data, so please uh, put it there. And then uh, any other supporting uh, document that you have, so please provide as evidence to, to support your statements for this uh, criteria. And the third one, the status of innovation in this criteria, we would like to see what are your stages of your uh, TRL. So please explain, please uh, uh, describe which stage of TRL level you are for your invention and uh, for your uh, innovation. Either you are in a basic research or is it in a proof of concept or is it in the technology development or you are in the last stage of commercialization. So, Again, this uh, explanation should come in with the related information such as uh, uh, any features, any videos to support this uh, uh, argument. Uh, for these cases, uh, we would like also for you to refer such as uh, 
the the uh, the guideline that were given by uh, or produced by the mosti or even the sirim as a guideline to to say it about the TRA level and then for number four for commercialization potential in these cases panel would like to see how your uh, the market potential or any social benefit from your invention or innovations and then what is your business strategies and how you uh, project your income generations activities or strategies for provided also if you have the commercialization status in progress for example you already have uh, your uh, partners collaborator or you have a joint venture uh, company so please uh, explain in detail on this part uh, please identify also your partner and your uh, or any collaborators uh, throughout this uh, commercialization process and uh, number five it's about the presentations. There are two elements that we'll panel will look at. The first one about the presentation skill. In this criteria, we would like to see the any creativity, informative, attractive uh, presentations, uh, advanced mathematia usage, the quality of the videos, the quality of the image, and etc. And the second one, we would like the panel will see the, the content of your presentations, the clear of deliveries, the useful information that you provided to the panels, the correct customer pitching, etc. In these cases, we want to see, uh, we want to see how strong your uh, pitching or your uh, explanations to attract the uh, audience to understand your uh, invention and innovations. So that's uh, for tangible properties. So the new categories uh, that we will introduce to for this year is the intangible properties. So for intangible properties, again, there are five criteria. Start with the originality of the idea and concept, 20%. Applicability of the new idea or concept, and the 20%. The implementation, the delivery of that new idea concept, another 20%. Impact of the new idea concept, also 20%. And lastly, presentation is 20%. So all together will carry it. 100%. So let's go one by one. The first one for the originality of the idea concept. This uh, for intangible properties, uh, we want to see, panel want to see how innovative the, the idea. So please explain in uh, details uh, how, uh, what is the element innovations that you provided in that idea or concept development. The, what is the out of the box uh, issues or uh, wow inside the, uh, for this uh, new idea and concept and how interesting is that idea uh, and concept the second element will be the publication again it's quite similar to the tangible properties is there any journals uh, brochures bulletins social media etc so again to prov uh, please provide the detailed information with uh, detailed in related information correct information and any other supporting documents as evidence the second one for the applicability of the new idea concept, we want to see, panel would like to, to look at on the due diligence about the idea concept. Again, uh, please uh, highlight in details in, uh, in detail what are the uh, significant or what are the process, what are the uh, element that you are saying that your product, your innovation at, that, uh, at the current stage, at the current uh, stages. And then again, of course, uh, the novelty of that uh, idea and concept that will be uh, on this criteria. The third one, the implementation of the delivery, we want panel would like to see either in terms of the how the strategy your strategy for the implementation of the idea. So is there any field study you have done? Uh, what about the market study? Any market study you have done? And then you added uh, should identify your target user or customer or community that will benefit from this uh, new idea concept. And is there any collaborators, partners uh, that are working together uh, for this uh, delivery and etc. And number four. So the fourth, uh, we would like to see the impact of that uh, idea or concept in terms of what are the impact towards the user if you are, uh, your idea is supporting uh, beneficial to the uh, villages, please highlight in detail what kind of villages or any site, uh, very site specific uh, user for that uh, new idea concept. 
The next one on uh, if there are any partners related to uh, uh, use this uh, idea and concept, collaborators, society or community at large. So if your uh, invention or a new idea or concept is uh, useful to the worldwide uh, usage, so please highlight in detail. The next one, the imp any improvement or any benefits uh, to the users uh, that we, we highlight uh, just now. So in terms of the how uh, your idea concept could lead to the uh, sustainable of the uh, life and so on, the improvement or redu reduce of the cost livings, the health issue, the economic issue, or any uh, except uh, any 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 other issue related to the uh, human being or the uh, agricultures to the uh, uh, any others. Uh, I mean. And the uh, number five is about the presentations. So quite similar to the uh, previous uh, uh, tangible properties. So we are look at on the presentation skill again the creativity, the uh, attractiveness, uh, the uh, the quality of your uh, presentations in terms of the uh, the uh, the creativity informations. The second one about the contents, the delivery of the contents, the the useful of the informations, how you can attract the the panels to understand uh, what uh, uh, the the proper the idea of your or the concept that you try. To, to share with uh, with them, so that will carry a uh, hundred percent together. Okay, I think that's uh, for the intangible properties. The next one for the judging process, the evaluation period will be uh, uh, from third of March until seven of March. Will be five days. The second thing is, each participant will be uh, evaluated by two judges, uh, one from the industry, the second one from the uh, academics. So the process of evaluation will be online process, uh, online process. The, the evaluation will be based on the material that you submitted online, uh, either poster, video, document, and any other set of things. Then uh, the participant feedback can be uh, required by, uh, will be required by the panels if needed. So if that's the case, the panel might call, might uh, message, might email or contact you in terms of uh, to get any feedbacks or any clarify from any uh, related to the content that you provided. Okay, so the next one, I think this is the last thing. So anything else? Any Q&A? Thank you, uh, Dr. Zoyner. So now I shall, I shall open the session for questions and answers from the participants. Now please unmute and introduce yourself and proceed with your question. Questions can also be posted over the chat box. We will address them accordingly throughout the session. So I invite now uh, questions from participants. Uh, Nuraisha Osman, I can see um, your greetings there. Hi there. Do you have any question? Can you please? Okay. Is there any format of the video duration, etc., Dr. Zaino? Okay, uh, so regarding the format, uh, basically uh, every participant will be uh, said will be recommend suggested to submit uh, the link of your video, not the full uh, file of the video. So uh, we we don't have uh, the full uh, uh, requirement on the size of the video. However, since there there's just a link, you can share. Uh, whatever uh, size of the video regarding the, the, the link, uh, according to the link. So in terms of formats, so as I, I suggested in the, uh, the criteria, so for everything that you need to, uh, panel want to see in terms of the uh, delivery, in terms of explanation, please put out in, uh, please explain in video. But uh, all the others uh, supporting document, you can uh, combine or submit it in the separate file in the, and submit in the, the given link. So again, uh, there is a no specific format for the video, but explanation should be highlighted uh, for all criteria that the, uh, we have discussed just now uh, in, inside the video. Okay, one from Hemi Abdul Jalal. Do the video must be in full presentation concept or just a montage? 
Okay, uh, so we will recommend that uh, the presentation will be, uh, you can combine them also, or, but you must have the presentations from the presenter uh, inside the video because uh, we want to see, the beginner would like to see the teaching uh, criteria inside the pre presentation skill, how the presenter can attract the panels uh, or the audience towards your inventions uh, that you present. So, so you can combine, but there must be a presentation from the presenter uh, inside the video. Thank you. There's another one here. How about this from Zulfaka Zulkafli? How about the ideal video duration? Okay. Um, so from uh, previous uh, exercise, so we will recommend around uh, eight to uh, 10 minutes. So because uh, we think that that uh, duration should be enough for uh, for most of the presentation type of products to present their products. Because don't worry, because you have uh, a, uh, you can even to su uh, submit the some of the cumin such as uh, if you have a journal, papers, uh, uh, certificates, so you can submit together as uh, supported the cumin. But inside the presentation, try to focus, try to highlight about your invention, explain details, uh, what is the best about your, your inventions because you just have uh, around less than 10 minutes to, to, pre to, to sell your idea, to sell your product, to, uh, to sell your innovations. So please uh, focus more on the uh, explanations. Okay. Uh, if you have the video explanation, the process, you can combine them together uh, and be more creative uh, in terms of uh, uh, you can add some uh, text inside your video also to help more uh, under your uh, the panels understand more about about the about the presentations about their products. All right. uh, one from anonymous. Uh, yes. Yeah. Can the participant get the slides just now on the evaluation part? I believe they can. Yeah. We'll be sharing the slides. Yes. Yeah. Probably we will share. It. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We'll okay. Be we'll share the slides. Slides. All right. The next one from Ramesh Subramaniam. Are there any online presentation? Okay. Uh, we will do online uh, evaluations based on the online submissions uh, materials, of, like such as poster, video, and so on. But if the panel thinks that uh, they still don't understand uh, or don't have enough uh, information about the, the invention or the innovations that you uh, presented, so he or she might uh, contact you throughout the uh, call, throughout the uh, email, WhatsApp, and so on. We have that, uh, your contact. So the panel, uh, maybe they will contact you if they need it. So, but uh, since the, the, the duration of the evaluation is just five days, so, and then they, they might uh, have a very limited of times. So probably uh, that kind of options is uh, the last option from the jury. <laughs> okay, so that's why we, we suggest every participant uh, try your best to uh, present your idea, your invention in your video and uh, submit and uh, uh, provide all the related documents, all the related documents that uh, will uh, help the uh, uh, panel uh, evaluate your product or evaluate your idea in the correct as what you want. All right. right. Uh, next from Ramesh again, yeah. Do we need to submit documents separately for tangible and intangible? Okay, uh, as far as I know, there will be uh, separate uh, uh, submissions for, for the product. If you are submit the tangible product, there will be uh, one submission for tangible product and uh, one uh, submission for the uh, intangible product. So different uh, submissions. All right, the third question from Ramesh is, are there any limitation of the number of supporting documents like video, posters, uh, PowerPoint, etc.? Okay, uh, in terms of video, you, uh, the participant always will share only the link. For example, like your video, your, uh, your video are located in the YouTube. So you just share the link. Or uh, even if you uh, have your file video in somewhere else, you just share the, the link. But please make sure uh, the link is uh, uh, workable. Because most of the time we, we uh, panels uh, respond that the video is not workable, the link given is not workable. 
So that one thing. In terms of the um, the size, is not that is not a matter here because you are just share the link. Okay, for for that video. The rest of the document, uh, because uh, Miss Enli later on will share the, the more details, but I can provide you uh, initial information. You will be given five uh, 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 allocations to submit the document, five allocations to the document. In terms of detail, maybe the Miss Enli will, will provide you detail later on. All right. Uh, the next one from Noraisha Usman. Uh, the recorded video will be submitted prior to the event, right? So what is happening during the actual event? So she wants to know. Since the video is already evaluated or submitted prior to the event, so she wants to know what what is happening or, or what will happen during the actual event. Uh, hello, everyone. I would <laughs> like to answer that question. Oh, yeah, very good. Okay, yeah. Nora, go ahead. <clears throat> okay, so uh, Malaysia Tech Expo is uh, consists of uh, a few segments, not only the innovation. Uh, award program. We also have a virtual exhibition. We have knowledge sharing session, pitching, uh, product pitching, um, <coughs> demos, as well as <coughs> a few more activities. We will have high profile dialogue forum and webinars uh, going around from the 21st to the 25th of the uh, March. We will also have uh, on the final day the award announcement for um, an award announcement is actually the result announcement yeah, for uh, our IIA 2022. Um, you can also browse and network, you can take selfies, you can also put in some comments in the platform. Um, I recommend you go to our um, NTE website and uh, you can search uh, our uh, past event videos too. Yeah? If you need more details, I have shared uh, the secretariat number at the chat. Uh, we can send you more uh, information. Hope that answers the question. Thank you, Noran. Um, Dr. Zainal, actually there's the, the question just now you answered on the ideal duration. I think Zulfaka did not get the answer. Uh, most probably you like to repeat the ideal duration for each video presentation. Ideal duration for the each video presentation. Okay, uh, for ideal durations for the video, uh, we were to recommend around uh, seven, eight, nine, or ten minutes. Less than ten minutes uh, is a, is an ideal one to from from our experience. Right. Less than ten minutes. Less than ten yeah, minutes. Yes. So we got that answered. All right, calling for more questions from the participants. Do we have any more questions from the participants regarding the award criteria? Uh, just want to, to highlight uh, um, the problem that we faced last, last year uh, in terms of the submissions, some of the file uh, broken link and uh, even some of the file uh, is uh, not available even though the file submission sometimes uh, the files bro uh, we can say broken uh, link they're given so please make sure ensure that uh, the given document that you submit uh, try to reopen that file try to uh, make sure make sure it's, it's uh, workable because uh, if we miss that information that will we miss that marks so hopefully we, we take care uh, more action on that part. Right. Mm -hmm. okay. yes, it's always good to test the link yeah, before uh, sending. Okay, one more question here from Nuraisha Uthman. Uh, does that mean that the link will be submitted separately, the innovation and supported documents? Separate link or uh, one link? I mean, the same link. Okay, I, I think that uh, will be answered by Rita by Mr. Henley. Uh, I, I let Mr. Henley uh, right. answer that one. Okay, make sure that will be answered uh, soon after this session with uh, Mr. Henley. Okay. Oh, one more here. Um, do we, the exhibitors, need to stand by during the event? Uh, the evaluation process will be online. So uh, from 5th to, uh, to 3rd to 7th of March. So as the panel evaluates during that period of time. So if the panel would like to contact uh, the participant, that will be the period of time that will contact you. So if you want to uh, to prepare, probably that period of time. 
So, however, some of the panel will be from, from the industry, which is they are they're working in the uh, office, office hours. So maybe their, their evaluation will be uh, uh, done at night. So probably maybe they, they will message you or email you at, during at night. So that's, that's from the previous exercise. But some of the, uh, uh, the judges from the academics, uh, they, they might use their office hours time to do the evaluations. So uh, I can say that you, you can stand by from 3rd to 7th of March. Right, so 3rd to 7th March, yeah? So to all participants, please just be on standby from the 3rd to the 7th of March uh, during the evaluation process, right? Uh, because the uh, jurors or the judges may want to contact you uh, for further details or information that may uh, that may be lacking uh, in your submission, right? Oh, yeah, wait, uh, there's one more here. Uh, is it okay if the voiceover is not carried out by the innovator, for example, for montage? Uh, so as a, the fifth element of the criteria will be the presentation skills. There are two parts. The first one about the, the contents, the creativeness of the presentations. The second one is about your presentation skill from the presenter itself. So from there, panel would like to see the uh, your uh, your eligibility to attract to gain the uh, the uh, the attention attention from the judges in to uh, understand more about the invention. So in this case, uh, is uh, I can say it's a good if we have the presenter voice to to help this uh, and uh, judges understand clearly. All right. So presenter's voice, yeah. So the voiceover, it's uh, you know, it's it's preferable that uh, the presenter, uh, himself or herself, yeah, do the voiceover. That would be preferred. Okay. Any more uh, over here? I think um, you could read uh, March Tans, uh, our contact person from Potem, uh, regarding the exhibitors uh, on standby. All right. So. Uh, in terms of exhibition, exhibitors do not require are not uh, uh, exhibitors are not required to stand by all the time as the contact information will be uploaded uh, onto the platform. So the person in charge will receive the information if there are inquiries coming in. Okay, all right. Doctor Farahida Muhammad, one question here, Doctor Zaino, do you have? A sample video, is it simply converting a PowerPoint slide uh, to a video plus voice? Do we have a sample? Uh, we don't have that sample. We don't have that. We don't have a sample. So she's asking whether uh, the video is, uh, uh, is about simply converting a PowerPoint uh, a set of slides to a video plus voice or is it how, how's the format? Uh, again, as I mentioned earlier, so there's basically there's no format because uh, in set presentation skill, we want to see your creativity. So innovative, so informations that you deliver. Uh, that is the first criteria on the presentation skill. However, the second part is the presenter itself, the skill from the presenter itself. So uh, I, I, I think that uh, from, from my experience, uh, response from the judges, they, they said they cannot evaluate if there is a just, uh, the, the video is just uh, the slide without uh, the presenter uh, presentations. So that's, that's uh, the comment from the last uh, year judges. So again, there is no format, but to tackle these uh, two criteria, I will suggest that you, your creativity should you highlight, you use your creativity to provide those information. Second one, the presentation itself, your presenter skill itself from the presenter. Uh, Prof. know and all audience today, mm -hmm. I would like to inform uh, everyone that MTE uh, website uh, and also Facebook uh, showcases some of our winners not only from MTE 2021, also we've uh, showcased uh, our uh, COVID uh, innovations, as well as the recent one, SDG innovations. They are samples of videos that you can just, uh, you know, see as a guide or a sample. I think we highlighted the goal winners, Henley, am I correct? Uh, 
gold winners and special award winners. Yes, the gold winners and special award uh, winners uh, has been uh, highlighted in the website. Go ahead and uh, check out the samples there, yeah? just for your information. Thank you. So the link, Noran, uh, the website link to MTE 2022. Did you just okay. type that? Yeah. Sure, sure, we will share. Okay. Right. right. Uh, that is www.mte.org.my, right? That's the link to the MTE website where you can check the uh, some sample videos there. Uh, Dr. Hirman, you want to add anything? Okay, maybe I can uh, add to what 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 is the question asked by Mr. Ramesh regarding the uh, regarding the video. Basically, uh, if can can you imagine if you are uh, doing it face to face? How 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 do you uh, present in front of the judges? So if you don't have any uh, ability or any video to 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 record, so at least you can record yourself with your product uh, behind of you. So then you you can pitch. You know you rec you just record and you just pitch. So this is my product. Or what is the advantages? What is the novelty and etc. And then for 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 the I mean for the uh, material. So just maybe okay for the for 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 the supporting document. Maybe you can refer to the material that I include inside the link. So maybe you can do like that lah. Uh, maybe it will help you to to do a a very basic uh, pitching. Yeah? Because we also want to look uh, on your capability. Uh, we don't want to have a specific uh, example for this because we don't want to limit your potential. We don't want to limit your ability. We don't want to limit your creativity. Uh, so it's up to you to provide a very attractive presentation. Maybe it might good for you uh, towards the commercialization later on. So that's all for me. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Hirman. Now, um, this is an uh, uh, additional information from ProTem. So for virtual exhibition, participants can receive uh, inquiries via live video, messaging or WhatsApp. So uh, please inform your coordinators to accept WhatsApp messaging on the platform. All right. And uh, you need to select the option when you set up your virtual booth. So I believe, Noran, we want to show them the platform and submission. And uh, then we proceed to answering more questions. Noran? Sure, I would like to invite now uh, Encik Henley to um, share the online submission process and MTE virtual platform overview. Okay, Thank you. Uh, give me one moment I'll share the screen. Okay, uh, this is actually uh, the submission process for all our innovations for the IIA category. Uh, once you have uh, contacted us, we will send you the link to submit on our platform. This is just the front page of it. And you'll have all the guidelines and uh, other information you need to know on uh, the event itself. But when you click on submit entry, it will bring you to the submission form that you will need to prepare and have to submit your innovation to the jury. Okay. Uh, first, I'll go each uh, category on the form for you one by one. For the category is uh, first you have to choose whether your innovation is an idea, tangible, or if you're international participant, just choose uh, international. That is for us, just for us to uh, split up when we, I mean, split up whether it's an idea and or tangible purpose and international is just all for our admin purposes. Okay. Other than that, the title of entry of your innovation and then uh, your subcategory. This is the 18 categories of the, that is part of the IA that you have to choose when you're submitting your innovation. So if your innovation is just say under healthcare, you will choose healthcare over here. Other than that, uh, this is just again, we are asking to confirm whether your innovation is under tangible or idea, so that uh, when the jury evaluates you, they know which score sheet to uh, use to evaluate you. Okay, and again, this one is for admin purposes, uh, just in case if you're international participants as well as no. Other than that, uh, you'll need to fill in your organization name, 
uh, please do it in full so that uh, when we print out the certificates, it's your full organization name. And also, uh, other than that, we need the admin contact of your... Oh, sorry. Uh, after, other than that, if we uh, did have a quotation with you, please give us the person name in the quotation just so that we can track your submission afterwards. And other than that, uh, the admin contact name is if uh, you have an administrator or facilitator helping you fill up the form, it will go over here. Uh, this name will not be on the certificate and it's only for uh, us to contact the administrator directly if there is anything with your submissions. Other than that, uh, th there is the risk of innovators. You will have to fill the team reader name. And if you have a secondary contact person, please fill it up. And also we have provided uh, additional sorts for additional innovators. Uh, but please take note to use their full titles. So if they are professor, full professor, or doctor, doctor, uh, you put over there. So when we print out the certificate, you'll have is a uh, full titles. Okay. Moving forward, uh, there is the contact details, which we will need to provide us uh, all the contact details for your admin, team reader, secondary contact, uh, email, phone numbers, and also organization address. The email and phone numbers are for the jury in case uh, they need uh, additional information from your uh, submissions. They can contact you directly to get the information as uh, stated by Professor Zaino just now. And the uh, organization address is so that uh, once the event is over, we can send the certificates and medals to you. Moving forward, uh, for the information of the innovation, we will need a 500 word summary of the technical specification of your invention and innovation. This is so that when the jury takes a look at your submission, they have a understanding of what your innovation is about. And uh, as stated just now, a video is needed, which can be a YouTube wing or any other video platform wing so that the judges or jury can uh, evaluate your innovation. Uh, just take note not to put it as a private or else the jury on the day itself during the evaluation period uh, might not be able to open the video if you set a private. If you do not want uh, the public to see your video when you upload it, you can upload it as unlisted on YouTube. That means that uh, only the people with the ring can see it and the pu general public can't see it. And for promotional purposes, we need a 200 word short description of your innovation. This is more for uh, social media or the show guidebook. And then finally, if you have any other attachments to have, uh, there is five sorts for you, the six sorts for you to upload your documents. But if there is more than six, we also provide this uh, box for you so that you can put a Google Drive ring or OneDrive ring or Dropbox or any other file sharing uh, websites. And if you have any other additional videos, you may also put it down here. And uh, the final part of the form is uh, declaration of participation. It's just that uh, you hereby declare that uh, your innovations uh, might be used for promotional purposes for uh, MTE, and also that the intellectual properties uh, do not infringe or uh, infringe or uses the patents of other participants or innovators. And also finally, worker innovations will be promoted on uh, MOSTI's uh, MASTIC uh, platform. Okay, that is for the submission form. Next, I will just go a brief overview on the online, I mean the virtual platform doing the show days itself. Uh, give me one moment to share that. Okay, on the day itself, uh, there will be a virtual booth uh, that uh, you can put your organization things. I'll explain that earlier. I mean, afterwards, but then these are the booth options, which are standard business and platinum that will be based on which corporate package you have taken. Now, let me share a brief uh, video on the functions of the booth. OK. 
Okay, uh, this was a booth that was used uh, last year. On the booth itself, on the booth itself, there's a corporate video. And uh, you may also have uh, contacts, which is uh, by phone, by WhatsApp, and uh, by email. There's also virtual video calls, but it was not enabled for this booth at the time. And there's also a short uh, corporate write up. And this is the storefront for your innovations. So a storefront is sort of like a mini booth in your uh, organization booth to show off your innovations itself. And each storefront has its own uh, contact person that you can assign also. And when you open up the storefront, you'll have the video of your innovation, the explanation of your innovation, and also uh, two photos of your innovation. Uh, booth itself, you can put uh, videos, which is also subject to which corporate package you get for the amount of videos uh, you can put. The same that goes with the photos gallery, which is also based on the amount of photos based on your corporate package. Okay, and uh, finally, you can also put your social media. Okay, hang on, give me one moment. Uh, yeah, you can put your social media uh, information and also your other websites you have so that others can visit your website or social media. Okay. Uh, further on in the virtual platform itself, we will have also uh, webinars and knowledge sharing sessions. During these sessions, we will actually have a Q&A where you can ask the speakers questions, which they will later respond to you by email also. Uh, the program for the knowledge sharing session and webinars are also on demand. So if after the session is over, you can come back and watch them afterwards. And uh, finally, there's other connectivity options such as uh, this is the selfie zone where you can show everyone that you have participated uh, in this event. And uh, yeah, also the uh, you can write down messages to the organizers and uh, or to the show on your experiences also. Okay, that is a, a brief overview on the virtual platform. I think I can pass it back to the moderator. Okay, thank you, Henley. Now, um, as, as the participants will be uploading their company profile as well as their innovations on the virtual platform, uh, visitors will be able to visit your platform over the five days event, yeah? And in the event, uh, if the visitors are keen to know more about your innovation, they can contact and they will definitely contact you via email or WhatsApp or even video call, all right? Uh, through the links that uh, you will be providing on your virtual platform. And of course, you can promote your virtual platform uh, on your social media websites and um, as much as Potem and UTEM will also be promoting your uh, platforms as well, all right, to call on visitors to visit. And uh, for your information, for the record, uh, the past MTE, uh, MTE 2021, uh, we actually received more than 7,000 visitors from 18 countries, including Malaysia. So, you know, just wow, you just need to promote your virtual platform and uh, call for more visitors so that your research products get the attention of, uh, of the relevant parties and industries. All right. So um, don't forget to check on the MTE website. I repeat uh, www.mte.org.my or the MTE official Facebook page at uh, facebook.com slash Malaysian Technology, Malaysia Technology Expo for more information. All right, and um, just on another note, yeah, um, I, we've, we, we've checked on the registration and so far, um, we've got a few countries already, um, uh, participation from a few countries already. So from the 250 participation that we have uh, received, among others, uh, we've got from uh, Poland, yeah, from Poland, 
Hong Kong, Vietnam, Indonesia, Iran, Arab Saudi, Philippines, Ukraine, Azerbaijan, Nigeria, Taiwan, Lebanon, Singapore, Croatia, Bangladesh, and Malaysia. So 16 countries to date. Yeah, and uh, of course we are waiting for more. Yeah, and uh, hopefully just like uh, previous years, um, we 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 do receive. In fact, uh, last year we, we received uh, towards the closing date uh, up to uh, up to four hundred and more. Yeah, uh, participation. So uh, we'll continue to to share the link so that we get uh, to inform more. Uh, more researchers on the MTE 2022 virtual event. All right, uh, so no more questions there. So I believe everyone is clear on the MTE. So ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of our MTE IIA 2022 participants briefing. So I wish all participants the best of luck in your submission and keep the creative juices flowing and the innovative sparks flaring uh, till we meet again on the results announcement day for me. All right. Here's reminding all of you to keep safe, take care, and observe the pertinent SOPs. May we all be protected from the virus, and may the pandemic chain be broken so that we can all converge again on site here in Malaysia. Till then, thank you, everyone. Have a good day. Goodbye.